video number four for January 28th, 2015. And this one is Batman Returns. Batmobile. Guess what? As I mentioned before, I've never seen the movie. Uh, there's the front of the car, obviously nothing special. Back, uh, again we've got uh, a couple of things, DC Comics, Warner Brothers, and of course Batman. Other than that, nothing special, nothing. Um, so let's go ahead and crack it. Now this is a big casting. I know I said Ghostbusters was big. This thing's huge. It is... Yeah, I guess it's about the same size as Ghostbusters. So on the bottom here, all metal chassis, it's painted black, rubber tire with tread. But, uh, you know, I've seen the car, I just haven't really watched the movie before. And it's, uh, you know, they did an okay job. The paint is not all boogered up like those other, uh, like a few of them. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's pretty nice. I think they could have done a little bit more detailing on the side. I mean, really, the only thing they got silver is that. Gold wheels. I'm not sure if it had gold wheels. I honestly don't know. And they could have maybe painted those louvers. I mean, of course, you know, I mean, I'm probably expecting a lot, but, you know, for a 5 or $6 car. Um, but the paint does look okay on this one, so. I just don't remember ever seeing it with gold wheels, but I could be totally wrong. Again, I've just seen pictures of the car. And this thing is heavy. We'll give you a... Uh, We'll get a little scale out here. So we'll give you an idea, obviously, in ounces. So Vecto 1A is pretty heavy, I'd say. So it's 2.3 ounces for the Ecto. Batmobile, 2.65. So it's pretty darn heavy. Um, I would not want to get hit in the head with that. So, yeah, I'm definitely not going to give that to a 22-month-old. Let him wing that at me and, you know, he doesn't throw anything, but you never know. I bet you it would be pretty fast down the Hot Wheels track, though. With all that weight. It's low center of gravity, too, so. The wheels are pretty sweet. They're actually really sweet. Big, but they're sweet. I would hate to cannibalize this thing, but, hmm. It could happen. Nah, it won't. I'll buy another one before I do that. Because I do want to collect every car that they release of the uh, retro. It's like the only thing I really want to collect. I don't know why. But. Anyway, enough of my rambling. So we'll go ahead and let that spin for a little bit. Um, I'm sure all you Batman enthusiasts will love it. But uh, and I, yeah, it's cool. I just don't know anything about the movies. I mean, I've watched maybe one of them. Um, I was always into to dirt bike racing as a kid, supercross, motocross, and that's all I cared about, period. Didn't care about uh, Spider-Man, Batman, uh, I did play G.I. Joe, but other than that, Star Wars, none of that. So that is it. Done rambling, video's done, so if you have any questions or comments, post those below. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.